Peace, love, and light. Here to inspiration. How y'all doing? Feathers up, man. You know what I'm saying? We're not just talking. We actually live in it. Shoot. Burning is hella sage. On the thing, I was uh, burning hella sage. My freaking fuel. So my light is like all out. I'm like, I got a light stuff. And then kind of like the... This windblower thing. It was... um. I don't know. I think it's kind of like... Might be kind of faulty. That when it blowing, it's supposed to blow. Kind of stupid because I spit red on it. It's like you know, Amazon got this policy. You can't return it. So shit. Uh, what's it gonna say? But yeah, I'm better say it if it had to. But dog, on a real note, dog, a man got a dip, bro, nigga. You know, just today, like literally just today, I was looking outside. I don't know. I've been kind of. Won't say I'm tired. I've been like. Call it like, I, I guess I've been tired, but I wasn't like tired today because I was up for like since like yesterday. Because, you know, a time, quote unquote, I hate that thing, it's made up, but you know, uh, our, uh, I guess our sleep pattern is different. And it's like meant to be like, because we really were supposed to be like, Oh, maybe we should be somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we just resonate with the sun on another level. Like, oh, because the sun is up and it's all this fictitious time stuff. It's just kind of different. Like, whatever. But it's like, hey, whatever to y'all. All right, now I was just getting up because I had to go take my dog out. It's like late. So I go I go outside and I go peek to the door because I'm having to peek, you know, through the door. Peep. He uh, look through the door just to see outside, and I see mother freaking the f- ex friend who's a narcissist, you know. And this person, they tried to uh, like the other day. They try. They saw me uh, when I was stepping out to go get some mail. Something told me to go turn left, but I always go left. But I still went right. So, anyways, it is like, and I saw this van. I'm not sure if I told this on camera or not. If I did, I'll tell again for those who haven't seen it. Um. I saw this van and I'm just like, and it was stuck out to me. It was like nighttime too. It was nighttime too. So I'm like, and it was just stuck out to me. And I think I saw like, it like a Dodge or symbol or something. And then I'm like, and it just highlighted me. Somebody said, hey, somebody said my name. Say, hey, come here. Come here. Hey. I'm like, man, it was a narcissist. And I'm like, man, it, like you think you could just show your true colors like that calling me on? Call her, you know, showing your true colors, talking about I'm on some BS or whatever. And then you trying to, because I'm not about to entertain it. I'm not about to go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you literally stay right across from me. You would kind of have that conversation face to face. But then yet, you know, then you want to come buddy, buddy. All that fake ass stuff, my nigga. Just ridiculous. And his, and his girlfriend, whatever. She's a narcissist too, but of course. You know, but luring and, and risk have me risk my my well being in order to look out for you. But you know, you only care about your mother freaking self. So you read what you sell. Y'all be stuck together. But then they try to get me to be wrapped around and they drama and stuff. I don't want to be around that. You know what I'm saying, and it's kind of like now, nah, like too. I just took my dog. I saw the van was there, so I was like, whatever. They usually go that way. So then I had to go this way on this side of it and take my dog out. Because I just didn't want it, you know, when you see a narcissist, you just keep a pushing. You just keep a pushing. So then I'm going on that side. And then that's the side where my biological father's car is parked. And, you know, that motherfucker, he, like, stays in there. But I'm to mind you, it is frit. And, you know, you step outside, it is negative. Without a doubt, negative degrees. It is, like, bare freezing. Freaking bare freezing, that cold. In Michigan, by the way, for those who don't know. As of now. Because I'm like, nigga... So, I mean, like, can't really go out this side because they're going, you know. And then there's another narcissist there. And there's narcissistic employees that work here. This is a narcissistic system. I have to leave this joint. And I'm just like, okay, tomorrow is my checkout. So, I'm going to pack my freaking stuff. I've been packing. I packed up half, but I'm going to pack. I'm going to have to pack up more so I can put stuff in. Because I just got to get this shit to freak out. And I was, I was thinking about calling and see if I had mail or going up to get mail. But I was like, ain't nothing really too much important. But the only thing what I was trying to get important was like my plates. Cause I would have been out of state. I would have been out of state. You know what I'm saying? But nigga don't got his plates. 
and I'm gonna try to get insurance, and then these motherfuckers trying to get charge you like three hundred dollars for a monthly insurance for a car. I don't got no the news whip out the lot. So what the frick are these niggas talking about? Three hundred dollars, like really? Dang, there's a 281, 280. I wouldn't have played. Physically, I looked up online, they 281, and then like 240. I'm just like, what the frick is all this stupid ass stuff? Like, I don't get it. It's not making any sense to me. It's not making any sense. I don't have the newest car out the lot. So I was like, I, I never, it's my first car. I never had a car in my, in my name, you know what I'm saying, like before. So it's like, junk is irritating, my nigga. Junk is irritating. I can do my hair. I think I've been kind of a little bit stressed out because I haven't done my hair like how I how I really want to. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel kind of like a little bit like a little bit drained. Not a little bit drained, but I do feel drained staying here because I feel like it's not progressive. You know what I'm saying? Too many narcissists know where I stay at. <laughs> you know? And I'm kind of like, uh, and the whole thing with this phone stuff. And then today I happen to get a text. Somebody like, oh, it's picking me up at the salon at three. And I'm like, who the frick is talking about that? I think they just want a response. I don't know. Maybe because somebody put it in the wrong number. You dig what I'm saying? But it's still like all this stuff. All this weird stuff. You know? But I was definitely got to leave. Come check it out. Tomorrow's check out. And one of the weird things, too, one of the employees there that's narcissist. It's just like, this pale bitch, what's the frick she said? She said, I'm like, She's like, oh, yeah, I know you stay. She goes, one, it was like, there's like so many issues with this hotel room. Da, 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 the lights don't work there. Just freaking somebody punched a hole in the wall before I even got in this room. Damn, it's the shower's backwards. So what's cold is hot. What's hot is cold. Uh, freaking. Oh, uh, yeah. So, anyway, so then they like, before that light didn't even work. It's not on now, but it's, it didn't even work. So when you walk there, you didn't really have no light. It was a bunch of BS. But they was trying to get me to change change my rooms or whatever. And she wanted me to change my room next to my biological father. And this is the one where this bitch was like, you need, you can go back and live back with your biological Move back in with your biological father. These bitches are so mad that I got the money in order to move out and pay for my own room. Look, these bitches are old ass bitches here. And look what they doing their job. Look where you at in life, bitch. You didn't attribute to anything. You didn't attribute to anything. I'm going to make it sound how it sound. F sugary sweet dog. Because nobody want to say what it is. They motherfucking losers. They ain't got no goals in life. They never went, went for what they wanted in life. Just all they did was hate on the motherfucker who did. You hear me? Frick that. This bitch trying because they talking about changing my room. Because stuff like with this door. It's like, this door is actually like, sometimes I was locked out. And it was cold. So I had to go wait in the lobby, and I'm waiting on this. And then when I couldn't get in my room, and it's, it's like other times where I had to handle business in order to leave, well, I couldn't leave because guess what? My door wouldn't lock. So you mean I got all my valuables here? I got my DOG? And you expect me to leave my door cracked so anybody can walk in and then take my stuff, bro? You see the frick I'm talking about, yo? That shit is ridiculous. That shit is ridiculous. That jump is ridiculous, bro. Swear to gosh. Think a nigga really about to have that shit? I ain't even saying to my mind, I need to leave this bitch. So, yeah, they're going to be packing. I'm going to do some cooking. I'm going to try to do my hair. And I'm going to end up leaving this bitch. Uh, what's today? The first. So, I'm going to end up leaving this bitch. I'm going to end up leaving this bitch. I'm gonna, if I got another one in another city or something. Because even I was just doing it for my mail, trying to get my plates or whatever. Because they told, because when I went to the insurance place, physically, they said, yeah, they're going to mail it to whatever you got on there. And like, I'm like, do you have any place where I can send it? I'm like, because he said, no, nope, they're going to mail it to whatever they place they got it there. Oh, yeah, Andrew. I'm like, she's. So I'm like, but though you could call the post office close by and tell them to hold out your mail. And I'm like, all right, bet. So they could do that. But I'm going to have to dip. I'm going to have to find. If I, I feel like if I got to go somewhere else, then I got to go somewhere else. But I, I really want to be out of state. It's brick ass Michigan. It's freezing cold in this hole, bro. Swear to gosh, my G. I just wanted to get. I just want to tell you about that because people don't talk about, oh, lead a narcissist, lead a narcissist. They say that all the time. They'll tell you, well, you lead a narcissist, there's always more, there's usually a lot of times more than one. It's a narcissistic system. You're like, oh my gosh, you nutty motherfuckers. So it's like, you gotta get the hell away from here. These vampires, people, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just wanted to keep it a buck with y'all, transparent. You know what I'm saying? People don't like to talk about this too. So you getting, I don't know why people get counseling 
or advice from people who haven't been through this or had don't express it. You because how do I know you relate to me? What you think is you got a PhD or you got some type of certificate in learning or something? I'm supposed to be impressed. No, motherfucker, have you experienced this? And if so, what is it? Because you need to be really interviewing these people or just asking them like, hey, what does it happen with this? Have you ever experienced this? In what way? Do you know who's this? Have you experienced like well, uh, real friends? He had them go into detail, had them tell the story. Because they are not telling a story or nothing. They try to just have you listen to you. It ain't the one, dog. Especially if you don't know the motherfuckers like that. You hear me? But, yeah. Y'all know. But y'all know us. We buy for a consultation. For those, you know, because we actually been through it. You hear me? We know what you're talking about. We can relate. So y'all book a consultation with us. Uh, sending us a DM on Instagram. at healing through inspiration. Or you can just DM. Or uh, uh, healing through inspiration. Or you can just. I'm sorry. Yeah, follow us. Go ahead and follow us. We post on a regular day. Or you can just uh, send us an email at info at healingthroughinspiration.com with the subject coaching or consultation. You know what I'm saying? Pertaining to the subject matter which you want the consultation to. Uh, but man, make sure you check out our uploads. You know what I'm saying? We upload daily. Hit like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit the bell notification. Yeah, share this with those who resonate with it. Uh, leave your feedback on what you think of us. And, um, you know, and let me know the question. Like, have you experienced this with a narcissistic system? Or it seems like everybody is a narcissist? And you're not... And if, like you try to feel like, oh, you don't want to say that everybody's a narcissist because you don't be all, want to be like that. But it seems like every freaking body is. But that's what it actually is. You know what I'm saying? We got to stop denying ourselves. We got to start calling the spade what a spade is. Shoot. You hear me? But, um, yeah. Advice, feedback, tips for anybody else that needs in their comments. Y'all drop it. Y'all let it know. Peace, love, and light, y'all.